All right, everyone. Happy Thursday, right? May 16th. This is Vita back with another collective message. Let's jump right on in to the cards. See what the guides, the gods would like for the collective to be aware of today. Supernatural shit is going on. We've got angel number one, two, one. Stay positive. You are what you think. You are what you think you are. Don't worry about what anyone else thinks of you. Do you. Do you. Let's get another. Ooh, when the student is ready, the ascending master will appear. Remember which you are. I feel like we're all... Um, actually, no. This is a different card. Ascending master will appear. So... There's something that you are about to embark upon has to do with your learning, higher dimensional learning. It's about remembrance, remembering who you are from where you came, who you serve. Let's get one more. This is red. So fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, green. We've got the heart chakra energy. Actually, this is kind of turquoise not really green kind of turquoise something going on with the crown no the throat chakra you are annoyed by the gang stalking but unafraid so stalking energy coming back around some of you could feel like you're being watched under surveillance uh, for many, it is galactic surveillance, keeping a close eye on you with this angel number here, archangels. One more. You are their judgment. You warned them. Warned them. So there's someone... That did not heed your warning. They are under judgment. They're feeling like they're under judgment. This is an external energy to you. You could be worried about something. You could be feeling very anxious. It could be the energy overall. Ah, my favorite card. I never lie because I don't fear anyone. You don't fear anyone and so you're not a liar. You only lie when you are afraid. John Gotti, mobster energy dark side energy coming through someone knows you're not a liar someone accused you of being a liar they're being proven false something about someone being proven false let's get an energy card what kind of frequencies we got going on today oh cosmic flower baby number 18 breaks down to a nine the frequency of cosmic Flower activates our remembrance. <laughs> Here we go with these synchronicities already out the gate. Okay, let me start again. I'm repeating myself for the person that was complaining about me. Repeating myself, baby. I come, I repeat myself all I want, okay? <laughs> Don't have me out here acting like Tyler Tarot. The frequency of cosmic flower activates. <laughs> activates our remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. When the student is ready, the ascending master will appear. Remember, went, which, I almost said winch, something about a winch, which you are. So this is about remembering the place that we call home. So there's something that you're remembering, something about home, calling home. Some of you could be very homesick, looking up at the sky, the stars at night, wondering how in the world did I get here? Yeah, here we have third eye chakra, number six, the frequency of the third eye chakra, the indigo flower of life supports our intuition and our inner knowing, our imagination and our psychic power something's definitely going on with the psychic powers the clear audience uh that's one of your gifts could be completely off the chain right now 
Like I heard a boom yesterday and there was no boom. It was like a boom crack a lack in my right ear explosion type of energy. So I don't know if there's going to be an explosion in the mainstream garbage media or what some sort of event something hectic designed to uh create more fear of course let's keep going let's get the tarot angel number one two one stay positive so stay positive you know stay positive we can't always stay positive that's the thing when you're not feeling good you don't really want anybody telling you to stay positive I know I don't. I'm just speaking for myself. I don't want to hear it. But you are what you think you are, you know? So, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Tarot. Ooh. King of Clubs. King of Wands energy. This king looks like he's just like sitting chilling contemplating something i know this is like an actionable card or can be um someone's very expressive could be a masculine doesn't have to be what's at the bottom four of cups yeah i'm feeling like there's a little bit of uh dissatisfaction for someone Someone is uh, in a in a space, in a place right now that they may not feel all that comfortable in. Might not want to stay there too long, you know. When the student is ready, the ascending master will appear. Oh, two cards. Wow. This is the emperor in the reverse and it's landing next to this king of clubs. So this could be... One or two energies could be masculines. Yesterday, I was getting the energy of two masculines that were kind of at war with each other. Not sure how that might be playing out in any of your uh, realities, narratives at this time, but we've got this emperor in the reverse. Could be two. Here we have the sun. It's in the upright. So you are receiving divine knowledge, divine activation. You could be dealing with two, uh, two interesting sort of personality types right here. There's an emperor that could feel like things are out of control. Something slip, slipping through someone's hands. Someone feels like they've lost something, don't know how they're going to get it back. Something or someone that could be you. King of Wands again. <coughs> so this could be two, two or one. Emperor Aries. Someone doesn't want to fight anymore, but someone's fighting. Someone's fighting real dirty. Someone's a cheater. Doesn't play fair. Like can't lose at ping pong. Someone's a, a sore loser. Magician is behind King of Wands and then this Eight of Clubs, Four of Swords, Temperance, Seven of Wands, Queen of Cups, Eight of Coins. Something's out of balance for somebody. They're not open to the sun. Something about not being open to the sun closed off right now. Meanwhile, you continue to uh, move forward, advance. Again, I do feel like this is the energy also of some of you just missing home, your galactic star home. You are annoyed by the gang stalking, but unafraid. So this is also interesting with this John Gotti card here. We've got afraid and unafraid. So someone knows you're not afraid of them. Someone knows that you can't be easily intimidated, that you're going to continue to speak your truth and defend those that you feel need defense. Something about defense. <coughs> Excuse me, defense mechanisms. Imploring new ways of defending yourself through silence even. 
And I don't mean silence and like, you know, you're mad at your spouse, so you're just not speaking to them, not that kind of silence, more or less like speaking a little bit less when you're engaging with someone back and forth and it's a little bit combative, you know, not everything has to be tit for tat, something like that. Someone wants you to shut up though, they don't want to hear what, what you have to say. Hmm. Hmm. And this person, there's a group of people, could be a family, one family stalking. I'm not sure what this is. Let's get a card. You are, you're unfazed. Whatever this is, you're unfazed. You're like, whatever, you know. So we have Knight of Clubs here. So there's a Knight of Clubs energy that has uh, participated in uh, some watching voyeurism something's going on that's a little quirky weird right here not quite sure what it is yet let's keep going ten of clubs here someone can't stop watching you nine of clubs someone's mesmerized by the fact that you just don't mind getting down swinging your sword of truth you're in a new place grandmaster energy like you're becoming more masterful at your craft even you are their judgment. You warn them. You could be warning someone right now. Like, listen, I gave you plenty of chances. I've told you to back up off of me. You keep coming around here. You're going to have a problem. You are their judgment. Page of coins. Clarifying that. So there's a new beginning here that someone's not going to have. Someone perhaps feels like they don't have the right idea. Something about the right idea. Ten of Pentacles. And now we've got this Nine of Swords at the bottom. Let's get another card for this Page of Coin. Page of Coin. Whoa, didn't see that. Okay, so we've got Nine of Coin over here landing with the sun under when the student is ready so you're ready you're ready for something new for sure this page of coin here nine of coin here you're like on the like there's something that you just need to do a couple of more things and then boom you're gonna be right where you need to be like the door is open and it's not a crack but it's not wide open yet. There's something that you still have to complete. Hmm. Five of Pentacles here is at the bottom. Someone feels like they just are down and out. That's going right back over here with this uh, King of Clubs and this Emperor in the reverse. There's some comparison going on here between two masculines. I don't know if this is like brothers, business partners, what this possibly is. Five of Pentacles. Let's get this deck. King of Clubs. Some of you are starting some new projects and you're very, very excited. That I can't stress enough. It could be creating a little bit of anxiousness you just got to do it, you know. You can't worry about what others think. I mean, it's always great when you get positive feedback, but you're not always going to get positive feedback. But certainly don't focus on the negative feedback that you that you do get. That can be helpful. And it's something that we all have a tendency to do. Focus on that one little negative thing when there's like 10 other beautiful things all around us, you know. King of Clubs. Ooh, see, yeah, I'm telling you, Two of Clubs. What is this? Let me get another card. Oh, death here. Ooh. Two of Cups, Two Masculines in the Two of Cups card. King of, King of Clubs in the upright, the emperor in the reverse. So this is all masculine energy right here. This could be same sex couple, 
doesn't have to be this could be business i mean this really does look like some sort of business deal but it's shady someone's not on the same page they're pretending here behind death we have five of cups You could be in business with someone and you've decided that you're going to leave that partnership and go branch out on your own. You've got some new ideas. You don't want anyone riding your coattail. You just want to take off, do your own thing. You're tired of being the brains and the brawn behind this merchandise is what's coming through. So someone could be in merchandise merchandising merchandise merchant the emperor in the reverse oh goodness here we have five of swords and it's sideways so this is some feuding this is a similar energy to what was coming out yesterday i forgot what the king's oh was the king of swords <coughs> in the reverse and the king of swords in the upright mm. So this could also be some sort of uh, 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 corporate, what's that word, arbitrage, something like that. This could be some, this could be a world global type of event between leaders that's playing out in the narrative that we're seeing. There's some double dealing going on right here. I don't know what this is, but you got to be very careful dealing with whatever this is because somebody's a liar. Somebody's afraid here. Someone's afraid here. Let's get another card for, uh, let's get a card for the sun. Five of Swords sideways. So the sun is being clarified by the tower. Jeez Louise. So there's a major event coming up, man. I'm I'm telling you, I can feel it. Three of Cups here. You know what? Somebody is trying to put you in a third party. Like if you're single, you've got two energies coming toward you. This is some dysfunctional shit right here. I'm not sure what this is quite yet. There's a tower to the sun. There's a shakeup here. But this shakeup could be internal when it comes to you and what you're learning as far as your ascension is going. Startle, startling. You're startling someone. There's some something about illumination when it comes to events. Tower can be a major event. With this nine of coin, this could be succession. Succession. What the? Successive. No. Nine states. What the frick? This has to do with nine states. This is United States, nine states, or the ninth state. Something about states, the sun. This is this right here, I can't even do. Like, what's coming through is very discombobulated. Somebody's discombobulated over here, but this is different. This is an, an event that's happening in the US. It involves nine states let's get another card it's a tower it's got to do with energy solar energy uh, nine of coin ah uh, shit strength see you're very strong man ah yeah see look high priestess i'm telling you i'm telling you this is some psychic, whoever you are that you, you're psychic, there's something going on with how you're able to trans, no, transcript. There's something going on with how you're getting your downloads now that's different 
from before. Someone sees you as this high priestess. Someone sees, oh, someone sees that you're getting stronger, that you're remembering who you are. So maybe who you who you are and who you've always been has been somewhat hidden from you for a very particular reason up until now. There's some sort of unlocking that's happening with this third eye chakra, cosmic flower, high priestess, this five of coin here. There's an unlocking happening, something about a procedure, procedural manual strength. You're getting stronger, psychically speaking. Something to do with your third eye. Here we've got the seven of pentacles. So this is about investing in the work, ascending master. This is about investing, continuing to invest in yourself, in your intuitive abilities. It's very important. You're at a critical phase right now in your life. There's a cracking. That was that crack that I heard. There's a cracking. This is coming. Okay. All right. Let me just keep going. Knight of Clubs. So, huh, interesting. I'm going to get more clarity here. So you could be it's something about your predictive powers, your, uh, your forecasting. You're able to forecast events quicker than normal. There's nothing normal about you. People are saying that. There's nothing normal about you. People don't want to fight with you anymore at all. But they, they do, but they don't. Okay. Knight of Clubs. Hmm. Knight of Pentagrams and the Moon. So we've got two Knights here. Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentagrams, Pentacles slowing down someone knows they have to slow down they have to uh change their their mode of operation something about mode operation manual again someone knows they can't hide from you they can't hide the stalking so they're switching it up someone's switching something up someone's trying to switch you up Page of coin. You are their judgment. You warn them. Page of coins. You're very focused right now. Center of the universe. Something about the center of the universe. Oh, wow. Look at this. So now we got this knight of goblets. So we got three knights out here. And we've got the queen of goblets. So... Someone wants to make an offer to you. And this queen of goblets is kind of like the high priestess as well. And we've got the ascending master here. We've got this. So you could be the ascending master. You've been the ascending master all along. And there's something that's being revealed about you now. That others that share your your vibe your frequency are noticing or you're noticing each other there's going to be an increase in your funds so you don't have to worry about something so that you can focus a thousand percent on your service when it comes to helping not helping, being useful to others in their ascension process. Okay, let's go back here again. We've got this two of pentacles, and then we've got this three of pentacles. So there's a decision you have to make about your work. And I feel this is whoever you left behind to go off on your own, branch off on your own, this person is suffering some financial hardships because they were never the brain in the operation they're trying to figure out how to keep going work wise okay so that's pretty specific i'm going to get another round 
see what else comes out. We've got the hermit again. So there is some sort of investigation going on, internal, external. Um, this hermit here with the gang stalking here. Word is getting around town about you, something about you. There's some sort of, something's transpiring. We need, let me just get this deck. Two of Cups. No, no, no. King of Clubs, please and thank you. King of Clubs. Someone's a golfer. Someone likes to golf. King of Clubs. Could be a Leo. Compromise. See? And then we got Natural Disaster here. This Natural Disaster, I feel like, is this... Something's going on here with this Nine of Coin and the Sun. And then this compromise here is this Three of Pentacles here. You've got three people here. So there is some sort of work. Like I said, you could have left a, a business or something like that. And someone's trying to woo you back. You were, you were the uh, creator. Maybe you weren't being paid enough. You know, something like that. You didn't feel like you were getting, you weren't valued. You weren't getting your value illness someone's sick just profession i'm telling you someone's sick that you've left like they took advantage too there's some advantage tank could be with this emperor why is this emperor here oh yeah see bully in the upright clarifying emperor in the reverse blessing Alliance, yeah, man, whoever this is, you left their ass in the dust. You're like, yo, <laughs> you not, you're not paying me enough. Somebody did not pay you enough or they, somebody did something whack. Hell yeah. Let's go over here. I'm getting a little upset about this. <laughs> Who owes you money? Somebody owes you some money, but they're like, no, no, you know, come on, I'm going to. I'm going to get you the next pay period or something. Ah, this is some bullshit right here. But this is too about you are what you think. So maybe at one point, people were trying to like gaslight you. Maybe you don't have a degree or you don't have like the qualifications that are on paper per se, but you know how to really do the work, take it to the next level. But someone was using your resume to underpay you something like that or either they underestimated you or thought that you wouldn't leave something like that someone thought that you wouldn't leave love or business okay someone's a bully you're dealing with a bully you're not playing with this bully anymore so there's an emperor in reverse that's a part of this gang stalking here but you're not afraid you don't give a fluck, right? Fluck off. <laughs> the sun. Right. Readiness. Ah, you're ready for this next level. No doubt about it. This is glorious origin. <sighs> Didn't I tell y'all? Cosmic flower. What's it say? Remembrance of the place we call home. Oh, this is so beautiful for you. Promise. Keeping that promise to your... Oh. Okay. All right. I see what else this is. Some of you are very disgusted with like the terrestrial earth type of atmosphere. Like everything that's going on. You're disgusted with it. You just want to like be like, you know what? I want to go back to my star home. But... You're being guided to change this thinking because you are gifted, you're equipped, and whatever is not working out for you that you feel isn't working out for you is turning around. And more importantly, you are ready. You're ready for this next level. This is like that nine of wands energy also underneath the sun, even though it's not here, but that's what I'm feeling. This wounded warrior energy like, you know, you've done, okay, granted, this is John Gotti, and he, he did some things, but in terms of lying, you've been honest. You've been honest, your, you know, your whole life. 
you're honest. Ah, look, you are a natural warrior. And so you avoid all fights unless called forth by the gods. Only then do you spread your wings, right? So see, people have taken your kindness for weakness. They, uh, this is like, I'm telling you, this is gangster ass energy right here. This is Al Capone, John Gotti, like old school. This is old school energy. Like, you know what? I've had enough of, of you. <laughs> I've warned you. <laughs> so now this is what's going down. And I'm not saying, I'm not talking about violence or beating anybody up or anything like that. But there is someone or this is more than one person that has not understood their assignment or your assignment. They were an advantage taker. They could still be an advantage taker. You've let someone slide. You've given, the, they had a long leash. They had a long leash. And now you're like, uh-uh, no more, no more. And it's because of this readiness and this remembrance when it comes to your origin. You see clearly. Uh, you're seeing clearly now. You're an ascending master tower you're here to create these towers to wake people up you're gaining strength you're gaining momentum yes isn't strength leo energy there's a lot of masculine energy out here on the table for sure let's keep going because i'm getting very sidetracked right now Nine of coin. Sweet dreams. Yeah. Didn't I say you're getting what you need, the resources that you need so that you can sleep light, tight at night. No worries. No worries. This is like no worries right here. Okay. The moon. marriage so someone wants to marry you family someone wants a family with you illness someone could be sick because they they are separated from you profession and go eh. good news for you marinette so this is still a little bit shady Emperor in the reverse, bully, I feel like is this moon marriage gang stalking energy right here because it's next to the knight of clubs. So this person could have been quite wayward in the past. Uh, here we go. Or this could be someone that's already married, but they're pretending that they're not. Or they're telling someone that the divorce is just taking too long. It's this and that, it's not gone through yet. Woo, woo, wah, wah. This is some bullshit. All right, Knight of Clubs, but you're focused here. This is what you're doing. You're focused here. You focus, third eyes open, cosmic flower, remembering your origin. Knight of Clubs. Calm right? Stress. Okay. Commitment. Someone's in a, someone's in a marriage. They're very stressed out. They're trying to be calm. Someone is trying to be calm. They feel that you are too far away. You're too far gone. And this is increasing their stress. They're like, I can't, this, this, someone is looking at their life, literally like you're their judgment. You told them, what would happen? And they're like, what the holy, what the holy hell, man? What the holy hell? All right. Page of coin. Judgment card hasn't come out. What else this is too this is somebody that's in an open marriage here and now there's one spouse that is like no nah, this isn't working for me anymore 
your your person your third person is stalking me this that and the other and this wasn't the agreement that i would have to deal with this whack ass so that's maybe for nobody or somebody somebody pray probably that ain't watching but that's definitely what this could be also ah let's get a card for you are their judgment i need the kipper now Oof, conflict, savings. So someone's losing their money, confinement. They feel very trapped. They need your help. They know that you're okay. Commitment, evidence. So somebody's found out that someone that they were quite smitten with, that they really saw a future with is Mary. That's for sure. People just stay doing too damn much. Why is this King of Clubs here? Someone's got some evidence, too, that you have a savings. Someone knows you got some assets, some resources, whatever. Someone knows you're sleeping good at night. Like, you're not worried. You know God is real. You have your blessings coming to you. You see yourself as a blessing. You're a blessing to others, even if they don't recognize it. By the time they do, you're long gone, really. By the time they recognize that you are the blessing, you're gone. Mm. Shake up. Someone's being shaken to their core. King of Clubs. Marriage. So there's a King of Clubs here. That's Mary. Sudden wealth. Judication. Despair. Yeah, somebody married into money, wanted to have someone on the side. That was the agreement. But now someone's like, nah, that's not, this isn't working for me. You're spending all my money. We're going broke. There's a marriage where someone's going broke. We got six of clubs here behind five of coin and this two of, what is this? Wands. And then we got justice here. And then we got the high priestess. And then we got the sun. Yeah, see, so you already know that you got something big coming toward you. And someone else knows too. So they're trying to, they're scrambling around trying to figure out how they can get back in. But nope, not happening. This is, but this is like so secondary, literally. Like you're here, you're ready. You're ready for this next level in your life. House could be purchasing a new home, upgrading your home. Get a card for Emperor in the reverse. Something about real estate that's been coming through heavily past couple of days. All right, adjudication. The Emperor in the reverse. And then we've got Journey. So this emperor and this king of clubs could be the same individual or separate. Take it how it might resonate. Honestly, resonates. Someone's a snake, though. That's for sure. All right, let's see. What else? You know, tower. Why is a tower here? This is landing on marriage, family room in the reverse, landing on marriage and the moon child. Somebody got a whole ass family that you don't know about and a child, a child outside of the family. Okay. And they're all watching you. This could be, like I said, from the beginning, there could be a whole family watching you. Or this is your family that you've like, you know, that you've decided to step away from because you were living in a real life hell. And now you're starting to feel calm again. Something about a family in reverse. So that could be business too. Family. John Gotti. <laughs> the family. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. Where was that tower? You're a pillar of strength, man. Whoever you are, you're strong. Strong bones. Strong bones. Oh, landing on family, child. Didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I say it? Great fortune. Ooh, courtship. 
sun and wealth, despair. So there is a feminine energy that's not showing up that got uh, preggers or something to try to get in this family and get some coin, get some money. There's no feminines coming out though. Like somebody's in hiding, okay? Whew, readiness. Wait, what? No, tower. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. Someone's very confused. Very confused about you. Like, how in the world are you doing managing this? Someone's trying to figure out how you're able to manage your life the way that you're managing it. Power, lovers, high honor. So you have a higher commitment that when you're ready, it's waiting for you. Absolutely. So your uh, your person is an ascending master. They'll appear when you're ready. Lovers and the tower. Yep. But then we got ready here, so some of y'all ready. Some not, but some are. Okay. Where the hell is that music coming from? Strength. Strength. Holy cano. Oh wow. Official persons landing on top of child sideways. Ooh, coffin. False person. Occupation, courthouse. Someone is indeed under judgment here. There's an official person. Like I said, there's a separate narrative, global sort of political spectrum type of narrative. Oh no. Okay, well, I'm not gonna read that. All right, Coffin is at the top at Maine's transformation change etc but this feels like an ending when it comes to an official person child is sideways family room is in the reverse and this is all clarifying gang stalking so yeah let's get this janky deck see what else we can get uh, i guess i should also find out what's going on with this conflict here conflict This is a work conflict for sure. Family business. Someone lied way too much. Still a liar. Can't remember their own lies. They're in way too deep. This conflict again is with this emperor, this king of clubs in the upright. All right, bad health. Clarifying conflict expectation. So there is someone that doesn't... What's behind expectation? Faith. Yeah, so there is someone that feels like they're out of, out of the game. They're watching you, but they can't participate. They're not in good health. They're very conflicted. Um, this could be business with this Three of Pentacles too. They're something that you're mastering, again, with this Ascendant Master energy here. You are indeed ready for this next level. Something is being illuminated as I speak for you. Okay? Marriage. Designer handbag addiction. So like I said, there's somebody, the marriage here, they going broke because somebody just does not know how to balance any money. Someone's going through a lot of money and it's gonna they're going to end up in, in jail. And someone needs your help because of it. That's some bull crap, man. Why is courthouse here? <laughs> Don't do all of this and then come run into you. Like after they run out of all their options, spend up a whole bunch of money on nonsense with this designer handbag. Thousands of dollars for a handbag that costs 20 bucks to make in another country. Come on now. Court, no, adjudication. Someone could already, somebody could be a shoplifter too. Adjudication. 
whoa, beauty pageant landed on a strength. Like I said, somebody got with, with someone. This was only surface. This did not go deep at all. Very surface level um, situation. Now there's somebody completely out of whack. Why is this two of cups here? And this could be this king of clubs energy, this masculine energy that is just very much addicted to the finer things in life. Okay, dehydration is clarifying two of cups. She resents your beauty and intelligence, not your friend. So we do have beauty pageant here. So there is someone that finds you very beautiful, very intelligent. They resent that about you. This person's hiding. They want to uh, drain you dry. Maybe this person did drain you dry in the past and you had to let them go. Dehydration, clarifying two of cups. Cups is water. Someone could need to drink some water. I always need to drink water. I've been putting iodine in my water. It's just kind of nasty, but I'm used to it dehydration clarifying two of cups somebody doesn't have a leg to stand on in a relationship or a contract a marriage whatever this is business it's a wrap it's dry someone's very dry someone has a dry ass personality they're very dry boring they could be beautiful but they're boring not intelligent this person resents your intelligence your cosmic flower energy why is lovers here I forgot all about this card. Stop talking. Stop talking. Okay, so whatever this is, ooh, you know what this is? This, if if you are in the mode where you are ready to share your life with someone and you, it's like beautiful, you not going, don't talk about your relationships to nobody. Okay? That's that. Let's get a card for strength. The rumors are true. Beware. So again, this has to go back to this psychic ability, third eye chakra, cosmic flower stuff. So if you're getting visions and you're able to uh, predict future events, maybe keep some of it to yourself. If you have a channel, if you're a content creator, if you're someone that even delivers the news, your opinions, whatever, you don't have to say everything, you know? The rumors are true, though. You speak the truth. Someone knows that. <clears throat> so we got marriage out here twice. Marriage here is clarified by designer handbag, handbag addiction. And so someone's run out of money, too, so they are shoplifting because they can't buy for themselves their savings that's been depleted. Marriage. So this could be two marriages or the same marriage or someone wanting to marry you. Someone's definitely hiding a marriage. Manhunter. It's landing on the rumors are true. Beware. Huh. We do have investigation here. So this is also someone that um, is being investigated for a crime, could be an aliving situation, manhunter. This is also giving me like mental hacking, something about mental hacking, stop talking, manhunter, the rumors are true, beware. You're this manhunter with the tower here and the sun, strength, hermit. So a lot's going on when it comes to your energy. Magnetic. Let's get another card for marriage. Oh, and then this could be like there is someone in a marriage, a feminine or masculine, whatever, that's looking for a new prey, looking for a new marital prey because they've run out of money, they've been kicked out of a family, etc. Marriage. Python spirit landed on bad health. So you, someone's dealing with the Python spirit, snake, snake energy. 
So there's a marriage that's over. Someone's pretending it's over, but maybe not over in the courts. This could be something with the uh, that has to do with what's uh, that portrait of that. The beef, you know, I don't even want to say his name. He ain't no real king anyway, but the portrait, the red portrait yesterday. Yeah, Python spirit. I'm not going to, yeah. You will win in the end is at the bottom. Wow. Okay, I'm getting, this reading is getting real interesting. Let's get a card for bad health. There's an official person, and, oh yeah. So there's an official person that is this Python spirit in the in the overall narrative playing out in the world. Three strikes, bad health, farmland. You are their judgment, you warn them. So someone's had all the chances that they're going to get. This farmland could be a uh, inheritance, could be a... Uh, you're on farmland, you're thinking about buying farm farmland, something about corn stalks, sunflowers, you're ready to downsize, get out the urban center, something about getting out the urban centers. Three strikes, this could be missile strikes with conflict here, farmland, contamination of the farmland. There's global energy coming through. I don't want to read it because... I don't want to read it. You will win in the end, okay? That's all. That's what's important. We will win in the end. That's what's important. So stay stay focused. Here we've got storyteller and mentor. So if someone wants you to be their mentor, final messages for the collective, angel messages for the collective. My lovely, beautiful collective. Ooh, moon cycles and it landed over here with the moon and python spirit. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. So there's something that you need to capitalize on. You're ready. Your guides are with you, right? Beloved one here, Archangel Chamuel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So there's something happening in the background that you might not be all the way aware of, but it's coming forward. And when it does present, I feel like you don't want to tell your business to anybody, okay? Period. This is real significant here. Stop talking and love her, I feel like. Yeah. Yep. All right. That's what I have, Collective. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking, subscribing to the channel. It does help with the growth.